subscription to keep up to date with the content that I post. Also, hit the, notif the notification button so that you can be notified when I do post something, um, which is, is helpful. And also, one more thing, follow me on Instagram at mentorship.ceo and uh, you'll be able to see more day-to-day -day content. Um, my goal is, and I'm trying, is to post maybe once or twice a week. I think I could do that much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Anyways, with today's video, it's just gonna be a quick little story time. I don't know how good I am at telling stories, but hopefully with practice, YouTube, uh, doing this I'll get better and better but it's gonna be my uh, AD experience at the Rolex uh, store so if you guys do know for the watch collectors out there that the 2020 models have been out for a while now so it was a few days ago that I decided you know what Maybe I should just go buy one if they have one, you know, because I always hear about it's difficult to get the steel uh, Rolexes, the Sub, the GMT, the Daytonas. Those are the difficult ones to, to find or to actually get at the authorized dealer. You could get them in the gray market, but I mean, it's going to be at maybe 50% markup, 25% all the way up there. So, I decided, okay, let me just go in, and if by chance they have one available and decides to give it to me, I'm just gonna buy it. Now, you guys have seen my previous videos, and if you haven't, go back after this and check them out. I have majority date just watches of the Rolex, um, of the Rolex brand. So I have the date just. Uh, I had the steel Submariner, the 16610, uh, which I regret selling, selling that one. But of course, with the uh, the price of these watches going up, I did get a deal uh, by selling it. Um, but with the watches that you see that I have and had, they're all the watches that helps you get on the so the so-called wait list now i walked into the store and the salesperson you know introduced himself you know everything respectful and, and nice and i think i went in the way i went in and introduced myself maybe gave the wrong impression especially because these authorized dealers they don't want someone to come in as a reseller that's someone that's just go gonna come in buy the watch just to resell it for a profit now this is how I walked in the store I walked in you know one of the salespersons uh, came up to me shook my hand I know it's COVID but yeah he shook my hand and you know we introduced ourselves and I said hey I'm just pretty much looking for all <laughs> all the 2020 models are they available now he looked at me and I was like yeah uh, from the subs to the GMT's and then he he mentioned oh and, and the Daytona's too I'm like no 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 the Daytona's a little bit out of my price range and then he was like no 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 the, the Daytona the steel Daytona starts at 12,000 so I was like oh okay well yeah put that one too and then he said well there's no wait list, but we we have these watches set aside for clients that have history of, you know, buying watches or jewelry at this location. The, the actual name of the authorized dealer is the Mayer uh, store, and they have brands like Tudor, Rolex, um, Omega and a few others but not that much not that many and he said that 
if you had a history of buying watches and jewelry which would be like necklaces and rings and stuff like that at this store then we would probably probably be able to supply you with one so in my mind as he's, as he's telling me this i'm like so wait you have the watch that i'm talking about in the back but you just won't be able to sell it to me because i don't have a history of you know shopping here and the, the, the crazy thing is is that last year I actually went to the same store and just to look to see what they had and I had a conversation with another sales associate but that person wasn't there and what the guy and I concluded was he was like when you're ready to come buy something come see me and I'll get it so in my mind I was like if it's that easy it's that easy but anyways that guy wasn't there it was a whole new person older guy the guy previously that I talked about that I saw last year was a young guy we clicked we hit we hit it off so you do have to have like a relationship I guess with the sales associates at whatever AD you go to that's what it seems to me so with this guy the new guy I met um, he was like all right this is what I'll do I'll take your information down um, so he I asked my ID gave it to him name address um, and the watches that I want which was all the subs the black sub uh the kermit uh the gmt pepsi coke pretty much all the new ones and the daytona still daytona and he just put me in in the computer and he was like look the chances of us calling you to you know come in and buy one of the watches is like slim to none so when he told me that i pretty much just like wrote that off in my mind but who knows you know he also did say like look we have people who have history with us for 20 years you know and in those cases you know the the guys that have 20 year history shopping there might come in with their son or somebody that's related to them or a friend and that person would actually get to buy the watch because of that connection so pretty much that's my experience technically I don't know I mean there is somewhat of a wait list the wait list is the list of people who have history shopping there you know because I don't know why he said there's no wait list yes there's a wait list um, you guys are gonna go off of you know the top buyers and then go down the list so I walked out the store and I'm just thinking to myself like I don't have plans maybe I you know to get a ring anytime soon who knows uh, all the watches that I could get at that moment or just by walking in I already have or had so which are, are, are the day just um, and what they have also that they could just sell right away is the Oyster Perpetual which that's like an entry-level watch which I, I don't want I already have the day just which you know this one is that I'm I just recently picked up this is the 16233 um, you know in, in mint condition unpolished so walking out the store I'm like man there's a few like maybe two actually no how long ago did the the BB 58 come out I was in the store a week after it, ca it came out and had the opportunity to pick one up um but i didn't and even till this day i didn't it's one of those watches that i'll pop it up on the screen it's one of those watches that is something about it that i love and if you guys have been watching my videos you guys know that i actually prefer vintage watches i like the aesthetic of it the the wear and tear that comes with it um not a beat up watch but it's just the patina that comes along by the age of the the watch and the, uh, that's the Black Bay, the Tudor 58. Um, that watch, brand new, comes with that vintage uh, look. So it caught my attention and then the size of it was, was actually up my alley. It wasn't too big, not too small, of course. And I was thinking to myself, okay, so if I, was in, I came in now and I told you, hey, I have a history and I bought that watch, are you gonna present me with a with a sub with a 2020 sub? Uh, and I, I really should have just questioned him on that one, 
because I really want to know how many or how much in value do I need to purchase to actually be able to come in and you guys have a sub in the back and you guys will be able to sell it to me but anyways uh, I'm gonna try again at the same store see if there's a different salesperson um, I mean you could write to Rolex I don't know how how uh, helpful that would be but uh, I do want one of the 2020 models at retail that's the key word at retail retail um, and hopefully I can get it soon that was only one store that I went to um, and, and that's here in Miami I'm not gonna give ex the exact one but I did say mayor and Miami so I don't know how much you can narrow it down there but hopefully I can get a 2020 model sub or GMT uh, the Daytona really wasn't something that I uh, was thinking about but he actually threw it out there and it is in the, the price range that I'm willing to, to pick up so guys if you have similar stories or anything uh, better uh, where, where there's maybe success you know you guys could shoot it shoot it in the comment um, and follow me on Instagram and DM me and we can go go back and forth actually and and hopefully you know share some uh, cool stories so again hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up a like and